What is going on guys, this is Verma and welcome to the fifth part of our mini series featuring snakes in the states of USA. And in this video we're gonna see what Virginia and West Virginia has in store for us. So without further ado, let's get into it. Guys, the first snake in our list is the Eastern Cottonmouth. The scientific name is Achistrodon piscivorus piscivorus. Also known as a water moccasin, they can grow up to 4 feet in length. And Eastern Cottonmouth is a species of pit viper found in south southeast in the United States. Adults are large and capable of delivering a painful and potentially fatal bite. When antagonized, they will stand their ground by cutting their bodies and displaying their fangs. Although their aggression has been exaggerated, individuals may bite when feeling threatened or being handled. And, um, you know what? Eastern Cottonmouth is the world's only semi-aquatic viper usually found in or near water, particularly in slow-moving and shallow lakes, streams and marshes. Eastern Cottonmouth is the largest species of the genus Achistrodon. And these snakes are highly aggressive, you know what, you know, they are highly aggressive and when people get in contact, they really uh, are one of the most aggressive snakes on the planet as well. Eastern cottonmouth venom consists of the powerful cytotoxic venom that destroys the tissue. Although the deaths are rare, the bite could leave scars and on occasion require amputation. Eastern cottonmouths are often described as, you know, omnicarnivorous. Its diet includes mammals, birds, amphibians fish, snakes, small turtles and small alligators as well. Cannibalism has also been reported. And the second snake in our list is the eastern mud snake, Ferrangia bakura bakura. Mud snakes can grow up to 6 feet in length with the record being 8 feet. The mud snake is a species of non-venomous semi-aquatic colubrid snake endemic to the southeastern United States. Mud snakes as we know are mostly aquatic and nocturnal as the prey on amphibians. They are known to use their sharply pointed tails to grab prey items leading to the nickname Stinging Snake. The upper side of the mud snake is glossy black. The underside is red and black and the red extends up the sides to form bars of reddish pink. And the next snake is the glossy crayfish snake. Regina Regida Regida is a subspecies of non-venomous snake endemic to the southeastern United States. And by the way, its scientific name Regida derives from the fact that it's com it is comparatively rigid or stiff, you know. It can be described as a very stiff, which has earned its uh, nickname name the stiff snake. The snake also has very rough scales uh, thought to aid in defense against its main food source, crayfish. This subspecies feeds almost entirely on crayfish. However, when their main food source is scarce, they can resort to frogs, salamanders, small fish and dragonfly larvae. The snake, like other crayfish snakes, have an eating habit that is different from typical snakes. As most snakes attack the head of their prey, crayfish snakes will attack the rear of the crayfish to prevent internal damage from the sharp part of the crayfish. They're really intelligent. Glossy crayfish snakes can grow up to two feet in length. They're extremely small but they are really stiff. And the next snake is the southeastern crown snake. Tantella coronata is a common species of small colubrid snakes and they can grow up to one feet in length. They feed on small invertebrates such as termites, worms, centipedes and earth dwelling insect larvae. Crown snakes does possess a mild venom. The venom does not pose a threat to humans but may cause some redness in the area and, white, and a white dot where the teeth enter the skin. It has a black head with a um, yellowish crossbar on the oc occiput, followed by a black collar 3 to 5 scales wide. The remainder of the dorsum is reddish brown and the underside is whitish. It has smooth dorsal scales in 15 rows in the divided anal plate. But I've seen more than 15 rows, but you know what? The description is like that in a um, lot of journals, so I don't have any chance but to tell you that. That's the scientific um, research that's, that's going on. So that's it guys, that's it for Virginia. And, uh, the remaining snakes in Virginia, almost 17 species of snakes are found in Virginia. 17 or 20, 20 species of snakes, but remaining of them all we've discussed um, in our previous video. So I don't need to worry about them. And the next state is of course the West Virginia. And as they belong to the same geographical zone, both of these states comprise the same snakes. So, no need to discuss more in detail about both of the snakes. Uh, that's it, guys. That's it for this video. Thank you for uh, thank you for watching, and see you later.